Hi friends, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to see one of the very interesting you know, interview questions which is generally asked on just variable declaration. Okay, so uh, like you will see a simple this three definition in front of you and you, know, you might be asked what is the difference between a string one, a string two and a string three. So the first thing is like as, as I have written that this is called a normal variable this is called implicitly unwrapped optional and the third variable here is a optional variable okay now before going into the detail to see what's the difference let's just try to write a simple sentence that's a print statement so what i'm writing print string one print string two and string three now if i run this what is happening that I'm getting an error and what is that error that is string one used before it's initialized and what does that mean that so in this case you are just defining the variable you're not initializing it that means it doesn't have any memory at this point of time but if you see if I comment this and run it again the string two and string three have value nil and once a variable have value that means it has a memory address name. and we can see that also like let's say that if I try to print uh, the address so with unsafe pointer okay now let's run it again and see you can see there is some address which is printed for a string 2 it's same thing if I copy and I paste it and I write it for a string 3 it will again print this some address for a string 3 okay let's see the same thing for one now when i try to run this again see it's giving me error and again it's obvious that the reason is it's not initialized so one difference is very clear that when you write a implicit unwrapped optional and when you write a optional it is having some sort of address and it is holding nil value got it okay now let's come to the next point now let's say that if i write a string one equals to a string three now what is a string one a string one is a normal variable and string three is my optional now, this scenario is very common now the moment you write it you will get error that you cannot assign a optional variable to a normal variable a optional variable can have nil as its value and the moment is it having a nil this variable will not support it the string one because this is normal variable it will, it will not have nil in any scenario so there are multiple options to solve it like you can write it like if let value equals to string three and then put it like this and you will see that error is gone like i'm just doing a normal optional binding so if you have to assign an optional variable to a non-optional variable you have to perform some sort of optional binding then only you can assign it whether it is force unwrapping or using guard let or using if let okay right now it, if i print but even if i run it it will not bring a, print anything because string 3 don't have any value so let's assign value to it okay now if i run it a string one will have value of app developer and it works fine okay i just delete this and write a string one equals a string two now in this case the compiler will not throw you any error but if you run it it will crash and again the reason is very obvious because a string two is an implicit unwrapped optional but what is this value the value is nil and a string one can't hold any nil value no okay so now what i'm doing i'm just putting my name here okay and now if, if i run it it will work fine because now this have a value and now let's print a string one what it will print it's printing nil is but if you print a string 2 no you will assume that it will also print a list but it will not print a list it will print optional list 
So what is happening as when you are defining an implicit unwrapped optional, it doesn't, it, it tells you that it can have value and it can it can have nil value also the same way how you have the optionals the only difference is that when you are using this implicit unwrapped optional you don't need to like unwrap it the way you are doing for the optional variable so the compiler itself internally unwrap the optional value and if it finds something useful let's say that in this case it finds nil is it will assign that particular value and if it doesn't find, it will assign the nil. So optional binding is happening in this case also, but you are not doing it. It's the compiler which is doing for you. Okay. So if you print the value directly, it will still print you the way it's, it's printing for the optional variable. Like if I print a string three right now, it will print me option. So now why we should use it? So one thing you can easily see that I cannot do it directly. I have to use optional binding, but in the case of uh, implicit unwrapped option, I can do it directly. So it lessens your amount of code that you're writing. Let's say that another thing you can see if I'm writing something like, let's say string two dot lowercase. And here also I'm writing dot lo lowercase. If you see that in the case of optional binding, in, in the case of optional variable, you are performing optional chaining when you're calling some method but in the case of implicit unwrapped optional you are not doing optional binding so it makes your code much cleaner when you use a implicit on unwrapped option instead of option variable and in both the case you will have the same output okay and let's make this nil right now and what will happen it's going to crash because you are trying to make something lower cost which doesn't exist so when you are using implicit unwrapped no optional you have to be very sure that you have the value now the question again comes into your mind that if i know that i will have a value why do i will not go for the normal value why i will just go and you no know, like put myself in trouble using implicit unwrapped no optional and if i'm pretty much sure that i have the case where i cannot have the value i will i will definitely go with the optional as a developer you should always use optional variable when you have a scenario when the value can be nil. You should never use implicit unwrapped optional. No. And you should always use a normal variable when you are sure that you will always have a value. So this is very clear. You will always have a value. You will use a normal variable. You might have or you have value. You will go for optional. Now in which case I should go for implicit unwrapped option so in such scenario that where you know that when your compiler or when your execution is going to start in the initial you will not have value but the moment you start using it you will have the value at that point of time maybe like in init method or in some method you are going to assign the value in that case you should go for the implicit unwrapped option but again in general case we should avoid using this as much as possible now let's try to see some practical use case where we use implicit unwrapped optional in our daily uses so i have just created a sample project and what i have done i have taken a label in my storyboard and i have created a ib outlet connection now you might have noticed that when this is the only place many many of you you have used implicit unwrapped optional now any reason you can think like why it is such that why it is implicit unwrapped optional like apple could have made either it like this or like this now, what can be the reason for this now if you think of ib outlet you are like pretty much sure that it can be nil only in one scenario when you declared ib outlet here and you forget to connect it in the storyboard but in the later of your program education, you are never going to make your outlets as nil, correct? So it have it actually falls in the scenario that it can be nil, but it can be nil only in when the program is you know starting its education. And that's the reason that here we are using implicit underwrite because it again simplifies our task by you know unnecessarily putting optional chaining everywhere. Okay, so now let's see that here in this case, right now I have a proper connection okay now in the view to load what i'm going to write i'm just going to write info label dot text as my name and if you see 
there is no optional chaining because it's an implicit unwrapped option. Now, if I run it, I should see my name in my screen and it should work fine because I have my proper outlet. But now, let's say that if I remove my outlet. Now, what will happen? In this case, your label will be nil and the program is going to be crashed. So, this type of mistake we are going to do very rare in in the production app generally it will happen while development of the app okay now is it necessary that we should make it optional let's say that i again connected back my constraints and this time instead of using this i can put a question mark i can make it from implicit and wrapped optional to a op proper optional now the moment you write this it will throw you error because now it's an optional variable and what it needs it needs a concept of optional chaining to access its properties so you have to put a question mark here and again if you run it you will see the same result in your screen that's my name but what can be the advantage in this case using a question mark here using optional that if you forget to make your connection in that case also you come your Compiler is not going to crash. See, it's not crashing. It's showing the default value in the label, but that's not good because you are missing some no, like functionality of your app that is necessary, like you know, showing something in the uh, to the user. So you can always make it optional, but we don't make it because we want that we should not make this you know, error of not connecting the IB outlet. Got this point? So definitely, uh, in this case, I'll prefer using implicit unwrap optional now that's about the ib outlet is there anything with related to any variable so let's say that i have a scenario or let's say that i create a table view cell here so just call it as cell i'm not going to use it just create it now here let's say that i have a variable origin Now, the moment you write it, the compiler will throw you error because you are having some property in the class. The class wants some value, like either you provide some default value to it, like I can give something like dot zero, the error will go away, or you put some init method and then you put the value, correct? But in this case, if you write init method, generally, like let's say if I write this init method, you are never going to use it, correct? Because the table view sales are going to be created through the reusable sale, and the sale will come into the existence when you have this awake from nib method gates call. That time, actually, your sale you no know, completely loads. It have the actual frame, actual origin, all the value it it have in this point of time. So before that, it don't have that particular value. So if I make it as implicit unwrap optional my error will go away because now it have the default value as nil okay but it can let's let's start if i'm using it in some value let's say function set data and here i'm just writing like let x equals to origin dot x now if we don't have value definitely what will happen it is going to or let's say that if i make it something like that what is the type of x it is cg float so if i write something let x cg float it is going to crash because this particular object is nil but we also know that we are going to call this say data from after our sale load correct and once our sale is created this awake from nib is definitely going to call so what i can do i can write something like this So in this case, I will be always sure that this origin have a proper value. So in that case, this is never going to crash because in no case, this awake form nib is not going to call when we are using cell. Okay. So that's one of the keys when you can use implicit unwrapped optional while creating a variable apart from using for IB outlets. Okay. So hope now you are clear. What's the difference between a 
implicit unwrapped optional and optional and a no normal variable okay and if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you